You are listening to the Kutztown Podcast. With your host, Sebastian Buba. This week's album of choice is... All right. Oh. Welcome once again to a new and improved episode of the Kutztown Podcast. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and this is a big day for the podcast because we have two of the most anticipated guests. This has been worked on since the conception of the Kutztown Podcast. Why don't you two introduce yourselves? Uh, yes, you can go first. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Caitlin Todd. I'm a junior here at Kutztown, majoring in cinema, media, and television production. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I'm I'm her boyfriend. I, I'm Cody Holly, uh, a senior majoring in cinema, television, media production here uh, at Kutztown University. Pleasure to be on the podcast. <laughs> I'm just happy to finally get you guys. This has been like ever since like February, probably even late January, yeah. depending. Uh. But. Honestly, these two are probably, like, if you're at Kutztown in the CTM department, they don't really need an introduction. You've probably seen them throughout the place. These are, in my opinion, the CTM Kutztown students. Oh, I don't know about all that. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I just I just woke up one morning and then I said, I'm going to be CTM. And then the rest <laughs> is history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in the building occasionally. Yeah, yeah. We just walk in and stuff and they, and they, they kind of let us sit there. No one, no one asked any questions. Maybe we're not CTM. I don't know. So for both of you being in the CTM major, what um, are you going for specifically in each one? Uh, well, as in like, what's the what's my like area of interest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, producing is what I'm all about. Uh, I've been producing my own personal projects for. Oh my gosh, I just have so many P's too. Personal project. Uh, I've been doing that for so many years, and uh, you know, I, on my channel. Uh, on YouTube, uh, the Cody Network, where I make a bunch of silly skits, films, and even, you know, I've made a feature. Uh, but I also work as an assistant producer at a, at a local company in uh, Philadelphia. And there I help with the, you know, pre-production, honestly, of commercials and even the occasional film. So that's what I'm going for, producing. But uh, I also, I've AD'd a few films and I really enjoy assistant directing. So that's the scheduling and the budgeting. Uh, in other words, the, the fun stuff. That's what that is. Yeah. Very good, yeah. So I'm really going for cinematography, anything within the realm of the camera department on film sets. Um, within you know the Lehigh Valley, I've been doing a lot of productions in the camera department. Um, and I've also just, you know, learned camera stuff from being on his sets. And so I've just grown from that. And then the goal is DP or, you know, camera op, first AC, second AC, whatever I can get my hands on. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And as for me, like, no one really cares, but I'm going for editing, hopefully, so I hope that goes pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty okay for what I got. Mm -hmm. What do you like to edit, though? What do you, do you like? Do you like, is it short films, music videos? I mean, there's different types of edit, even just motion graphics. I like doing motion graphics a lot, so I'm hoping that... <laughs> What, you got something to say? Gosh darn motion graphics guy over here, man. It's always the motion graphics he's guys. He says, let me open up After Effects, bro. Let me see y'all. Let me, let me get these keyframes moving, bro. Bro, I can move some hefty keyframes, let me tell you. Yeah, bro, I got this one. No, I got you. I know. And there's a lot of people out there that are looking for motion graphics editors. So, honestly, that's that's a that's a good uh, position to be interested in. That's That's smart. That's smart. Yeah, honestly, I, I just can't wait to see what happens later, especially on my internship. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty much a business that does commercials for small companies in the area, so there we hope go. that can cool. go well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to quickly go back on topic, uh, what made you guys want to pursue the majors or like the area of expertise that you want to go for? Well, for me, um, you know, I just watch a lot of TV, movies, anything I could, and then eventually... I found like BTS videos on YouTube and so I just watched every single one I could even if I hadn't seen the TV show or movie and so I just wanted to be a part of that and, and figure out how they did it and, and just help and, and get on a movie set that was the main goal for me. Mm. BTS as in Bah oh. <laughs> the K-pop band right? Behind the scenes. <laughs> oh behind the scenes I got you. 
Get out of here. I got you. I got you. No, you don't. Everybody stop. stop. No way. <laughs> Who's here? Uh huh. Yeah. Like, oh, just <laughs> <laughs> Make it like. No. He's done. Lock him out. <laughs> Take his keys. He's done. Resume. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, behind the scenes, though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watch videos and I wanted to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's very good. Uh, with me, um, I don't know. I just kind of. <laughs> I just kind of made films. Um,. With my friends in elementary school. See, there's a few of us, and we had this YouTube channel, and we would just make a bunch of silly comedy skits. I think, that, like, a lot of us growing up, um, as in, like, a lot of, like, I guess, Gen Z kids, we all kind of grew up with YouTube. Um, it was the, the eve of, of 2008, and, and, and the world was booming. Ah, oh, I guess not all the world. There was an economic issue, but... YouTube was booming, that's for sure. And it was, it was, it was, it was all about, you know, making goofy things with your friends, and that's kind of what we did. We made a bunch of silly skits, um, and then that continued throughout high school. Well, I guess not that, but my my interest in in film continued throughout high school. I was, although it's funny, there was a time in middle school where I actually wanted to be a science teacher. We all had those moments. It happens <laughs> like that. Arch architect, a vet. <laughs> I I I talked about it for like the past two or three podcasts I've done already, but just to make a long story short, I went for engineering originally. No way! Yeah, it, it just didn't work out, and now now I'm here. Now you're doing keyframes. Yeah! <laughs> you're moving those Johns around. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I basically got really interested in being on screen in high school. I remember, I, I, I guess I even helped out with my... Uh, my high school, what do you call them? Like the morning, the morning shows or something? Yeah, the like the, the, news. the school news. Yeah, I was the weatherman. Whoa, hey, hey, you guys! Whoa. I, I, know. I did, I did the graphics. Oh, you guys did the graphics. You did the graphics. I wanted to go for so I back home in Easton. I wanted to be on ETV, but um, ETV. that's what it was called. But uh, I guess I was just too late for the application. Dang. I didn't realize I wanted to do this until I got into um, college. I just did a new major after the. One that should not be named didn't work out, so. <laughs> yeah, and like, I just thrived. I did fantastic, and here here I am. Personally. Here you are. Here you are. This whole thing. <laughs> this is yours. If this doesn't work out, I have a job in set decoration. Let's just say that. <laughs> no, you do, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, we could use you a production designer. There we go, bro. Hey, hey. Um. But back to it, I uh, I then made my own talk show because of that, because I was like involved in the school news and stuff. I made my own talk show called Wake Up With Cody. <laughs> it's really good. And they're hey, still on your YouTube channel. They are still, yeah, you can check them out. I, I'd say please don't, but you know, <laughs> hey, if you want to check, hey, check, go check them out. I don't really care. With the power of editing, I'm going to put the link right there. <laughs> YouTube.com slash the Cody Network. I don't really care. Uh, anyways, um, I made those shows and stuff and, you know, really enjoyed not only starring in them, but then I actually enjoyed just the, the creation of them or actually just getting people involved with, you know, I had to get guests. I had to, you know, book locations. And I think book locations sounds a little crazy for what I did. I honestly probably just said, eh, we're going to film at this, uh, in the parking lot of McDonald's or something. <laughs> it's, just a, that. it's just a professional way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's, a way, it's a way of just yeah, making it sound like I'm a producer. When you um, really like yeah. to stretch what you can do on an application. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, I, I continue doing that. Um, and I realized that, you know, my junior, senior year of high school, that I really want to actually pursue uh, filmmaking and, um, oh, I guess I'm missing out a really key detail. Uh, my senior year of high school, I, I actually produced and directed a feature film, a feature-length film called The Gem. And I got, I just asked people in my high school, I asked, I got 30 volunteers, just students, just my everyday friends, to come help me out make, making a, a film. And we did that. I mean, it turned out to be like 60 minutes long, and it took... It took a it took a month to film, but then you know obviously post production took forever. But that's really where it all started. And so I realized you know, and that was right before I graduated high school. I realized that yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I actually really want to go for 
film, and I said, eh, what's this? Cuts down, cuts down, cuts down. Ah, I'll go there. That's what I said. I said, eh, let me see that. Yeah, yeah, I looked it up on the phone. Uh, Golden Bear. I said, I can do that. Avalanche seems pretty cool. I like Avalanche. I like him. So, yeah, that's that's my little story. That's how I got there. And just for, just a um, transition from that, how would you feel that your entire journey at Kutztown has been so far? Yo, wait, real quick. Can I actually, I literally just looked at it. Can I, can, can I adjust yours? I, it's been, it's been, pe yeah, go ahead. I want to, I want to put you to five and a half. There was something. Yeah, we're still recording. That's good. There have been so many times I have, like, oh, I bet it doesn't panic record. if it's recording or not. Oh, that's a good we're, point. We're still mm -hmm. doing it. I don't know how much recording. No, I just checked. That's okay. good. That's, that's good. good. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry. Can you ask that question again? Um, so just to go off of um, what you said about Kutztown, how has your journey been so far at Kutztown, honestly? Because, like, I felt I've really blossomed at Kutztown. Like, I went to Northampton before. That's where I got the internship where we met, but we'll get into that soon. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just honestly felt like giving us the professional equipment and everything really helped me blossom into knowing, like, what I wanted to do, and it really, like, let me flex my capabilities as a editor, like, filmmaker mm. so honestly just i want to know what your thoughts are personally i mean for me i you know i can agree with you saying i've blossomed i'll take that word but it's honestly been life-changing for me um i've found like you know a community of people that i i can work with be friends with uh you know made great relationships personal and professional it's just it's really been life-changing and every way possible you know i'm finding what i love to do i'm finding my people and it's just it's been amazing mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. making lots of productions of course i mean the two of us mm -hmm. um that's been really the thing we you know we're able to make productions together that are that are i mean you could say they're semi-professional but i think even a lot of people um, outside of Kutztown, even inside the industry, would look at us and say, we're doing big things and, you know, we're preparing ourselves, we're being prepared for a career in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I think even, you know, Kaylin, you know, she DP a lot of my films and stuff, um, and she DPs her own. Yep. She does a bunch of stuff, man. She does the thing. You. That's the thing. <laughs> She, you know that, but, that, but that's the thing. Like the journey at Kutztown, I mean, is kind of given both of us those opportunities, those research. I mean, we. I feel like a lot of times, you know, it's. I mean, re opportunities are provided. Kutztown offers those opportunities. They, they're provided to us, but then students are the ones who have to really take mm -hmm. them on. And I think both yeah. of us, but most, most especially Caitlin over here, she's been one of those um, examples. She takes those opportunities on and actually utilizes them to her advantage to grow as a filmmaker and as a student. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do my Let's best. Go. Let's go. Hey, give me, 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 give you sure. Shoot. Uh, now that now that's love right there. <laughs> I know. That's your, that's your, 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 your boo. <laughs> <laughs> Joy's gonna like that one. <laughs> I know. I know, bro. I didn't do it. Um, yeah. It seems like you guys are like honestly just having the time of your life at Kutztown, especially um, Cody. Aren't you the lead of Spotlight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, you could say that. Yeah. For those who don't know, what is Spotlight? Spotlight. Um, just some club. Ooh, I don't know, man. Just some club. I don't know. Either way, it's spelled spot, S-P-O-T, and then light, L-I-T-E, spotlight. Psh, people keep getting that wrong. <laughs> but anyways, no, spotlight's a really great club. It's a student-driven production club. I honestly refer to it as a company. It's our company. Um, not just ours. I'm talking like ours as in the members within it. Um, we run it like a company, a, you know, a production company. Uh, we we make everything from entertainment to comedy and news. We're creating skits, short films, promos for other organizations, offices, and communities. And we're really just trying to make content that's created by the students and for the students. Cody Holly. I feel like I just ran for president. What? That was insane. I got, I got it all. Did the, did the, was the teleprompter even on? It wasn't. It wasn't. I got that right. You're just too much of a natural, man. I, I said that right. I remember in the last thing I was in, I had to explain uh, the, the university relations thing. I had, to, I had to explain what Spotlight was. I said, it's like, uh, like, so like, you know, like when you get a club and like, there's like, you get people involved and. 
I can't. I broke down crying, bro. No, oh, really? Do I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. And they, they, they had the box of Kleenex. It was good. It was good. <laughs> and where can we find these videos made by Spotlight? It was good. Uh, Spotlight, you can find them all on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash, and then they added an at symbol, KU Spotlight. It's Spotlight spelled S-P-O-T-L-I-T-E. <laughs> and they're still going to write, I think it's spelled Spotlight. I think it's spelled with a G. G I, hope you know that, I hope you know that in post every time you spell it out, I'm literally going to do it like a kid's show. All the letters. Yeah, yeah do exactly. it like a cookie monster kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Put like a different hair. I'll give you different faces and stuff. Like, mm, ah, ah, ooh. You know what I'm saying? And then you can just put them right next to each other. I don't know. Oofy. Anyways, that's all right. That's like, this is this is the last thing I'm ever gonna be a part of. I'm getting kicked out, obviously. So it's all right. This is the last. This is a, you're never gonna you're no. never gonna see me on, on camera again. It's all good. There's a reason. It's definitely gonna be fun to edit. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna say that out loud. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, Spotlight though, I, I'm I'm the current president. I've been president for two years, but I got involved my very first week at Could Sound back in fall 2019 when I was just a little freshman. I uh, look around for opportunities, like we talk about opportunities, and there was one. And at the time, Spotlight, uh, unfortunately, it was it was it was small, and you know, it wasn't it was it was doing fine. It was doing just what it was set out to do. But it was just news, and it was kind of just like the same like studio broadcasting kind of program. Uh, you have you know a monologue, then you have a few segments, and I, I wanted to really help out the eboard in growing it. So we went from a very small club to then within the next year, about I mean right actually I should say like. Right now, I mean, we have a steady, like, 20 people, um, you know, but we, we've been doing really well in just growing the club but retaining members and also making it uh, more, making Spell I have a broader mission in creating a lot more than just news. So, I mean, and Caitlin's helped out a lot with that. I mean, we've, mm -hmm. we've made a few films and stuff. I mean, just, just, just yesterday, actually, I know, I'm not sure when this is going to come out, but we just recently, we... Made a, a bear fest yeah. promo. Yeah. We didn't really know what to do for the next meeting, and so I said, "Hey, bear fest is happening. <laughs> Why don't we just get our own personal cameras and take spotlight and go have fun and film it?" So it was like a spotlight vlog, and that's something you know that they the members seemed to really enjoy. You know, it was a little break, and it was like they some some said, you know, I was like I wanted to go to spotlight, but I also wanted to go bear fest. So it was a happy medium for a lot of them, and we had a lot of fun. And I actually won some prizes. Oh, prizes, bro! What you we win? played the prices right, and I won like a a Sunday ice cream maker, and then some other snacks. And the main thing, I won a Polaroid Polaroid camera. Yeah, bro. When the Ching -ching! yeah. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Where are you going? Oh gosh. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, not no, one of those. Okay. Though. That's a. Mine's right, right, mini. Yeah. I blinked. I blinked. I blinked. Uh, 100%. <laughs> it's done. Just. It's uh, just, just, uh, just. Oh, I don't think this is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's even better. That's, that's, hilarious. that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. That's all right, man. That's Blake's actually. <laughs> it was yours. <laughs> Even better. That's I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's the. It was. Uh, we, we're 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 always trying new things at Spotlight. Caitlin came out. Caitlin's our. I forgot to say our, our current secretary, but also she's the next president. Um, after I leave. Um, mm -hmm. so. She'll be running the club, and you know this is the thing. We we take a lot of ideas from eboard, but not just eboard. Our, our members we take mm -hmm. ideas all the time we and that's script ideas for our film segments that's skits well, i mean we've we've done some skits with some of our best members i mean john we we had we had uh rex and and asa appear in a, in a nighttime neighbor skit you know vampires and stuff we we do a, we do a whole lot we we have a bunch of people and we treat it like it's a family but also a company and i think you can do both and it's funny that i'm saying that because we're neither uh a family nor a company or a club but i like to refer to spotlight as both those it is a, just a very cozy like camaraderie based yeah. club and honestly so so it is safe to say that you're at least like the face of the modern spotlight because like it seems yeah. like did were you the ones who like had the idea to make it more than what it was I mean, I, I, he won't speak about this because he, you know, he's humble, but I can say that he's <laughs> definitely made Spotlight into such a big thing and a well-made company, as he refers to, but it's just, he's made it 
so much fun for everybody involved, the members and everything. He's made it blossom into what it is. And so, yeah, you can say he is the face of Spotlight because it won't be the same without him. Ah, bro. And what a face to put on. Uh, bro, she just wants the inheritance. <laughs> uh, she just wants the, the life insurance. So, so I am president. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just make it short. Just make it short. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Oh, I love you, Cody. Hi, hey, hey, man. Sure, sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I listen. I, yeah, I love Spotlight, and you know, I'll say that I, I gladly did a lot for it because I, I really wanted to help it grow. I wanted to see it grow in a, in a whole different way. And obviously I, I kept that club going through COVID. We were still filming segments, albeit through zoom, but we did segments. We did virtual game shows, virtual, uh, trailers. Actually our most popular video is a trailer parody. Um, uh, it's and we shot it on Zoom. It's it was it was it was totally on Zoom. We shot that and it's like it's got over a thousand views. I I I think it's really amazing and it's it's a, a feat that I, you know, obviously we all did it together. But I I carry that you know within my mental resume I'd say and I I, I say that we did a pretty good job uh, during that time period. But also over the last four years and I'm really proud of, of where it's at and where it will continue to be and we'll see. Caitlin, you know, she, she'll, she'll, she's, she'll take the reins and she's got it. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. Just, I'm running. I, you don't check the bank account, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Let's just say you're, you're carrying one hell of a torch. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Don't worry, I got him. I got him on. <laughs> yeah, she got, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to be around. I'm going to speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the word is. <laughs> He's trying to figure that out. I know. I say go. Be da. Be da. Be, would it be that? Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? You're scatting. You don't want to beat that. And he had scat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I know. We, we love Spotlight. We love Spotlight. And, you know, if you're, if you're ever interested in joining, you know, just find us on Engage. Uh, but we, we meet every Thursday at 6 p.m. in the TV studio, LC4 of the Rickenback Learning Center building. And we're always looking for new members. And this goes out to every uh, member, of uh, every student at university, be at Kutztown University, um, because we're not all just about CTM members. We have a lot of, we have finance majors. Yeah. We had, I remember some people on the eboard uh, used to be, oh, geography and stuff. We have, we have, oh, yeah, yeah, we have non CTM mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Any grade level major, whoever you are, yeah, you can yeah, join. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Join Spotlight today. <laughs> Do you think that you should that? definitely make like a I want you yeah, yeah. poster. <laughs> I want you to join Spotlight. That's good. Yeah, I'm right you can't turn that down. Like, like no, no, no. honestly, I just <laughs> imagine like, like an average dude just minding his own business. He just sees a commercial at that. It's like, well, I can't say no to that. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, he's telling me to join. I don't. Might as well. Shoot, man, I was gonna go to Cub. I was gonna get some mm -hmm. Cub grub. You know what I'm saying? I, well, I guess I'll just drop it and go I'll go join Spotlight. I feel a compulsion to go shoot something with an ensemble. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, <laughs> so would you say that um, when you went into Kutztown initially, or just like in terms of like managing something like Spotlight, you already mentioned like dealing with the coronavirus and just stuff like that. Did you encounter any other hardships for both of you when going to Kutztown, or just like no, just more pursuing the major? In general, before going or like like um, I I guess like whenever you were pursuing the major. Okay. So any difficulties? I mean, I'll just I mean, always money has been a hard mm -hmm. thing. Um, I'm sure a lot of us can say that. And honestly, yeah, I I mean, just affording to go here, but anywhere. I mean, college is expensive, and you know that's just how it goes, obviously. But um. You know, I, I was really fortunate uh, to have received um, a great deal of financial aid and scholarships to attend here. So that was actually oh, nice. the worry getting in. Yeah, that was the worry getting in to college. Um, but once I was here, it was really just uh, sticking through even with COVID going on. I mean, I was a sophomore. My sophomore year was all virtual. Mm. Um, my freshman year was all virtual. Yeah. So we all have our, our COVID stories mm -hmm. um, of trying to actually, it's like you try to acclimate to the online life. And then it was actually hard. I remember I, like I uh, freshman year, I had the you know first fall semester and then the half, uh, you know, spring 2020. Um, that was right before COVID happened. And like it was, it was all nice and stuff. Everything, you know, was really wacky and fun. Um, but then 
going on Zoom and everything, that wasn't too hard. Like, I and I know, I know it was. I'm not saying it was hard for um, like everyone. Obviously, it was hard for a lot of people. It was but for hard me, for me. I know it was. It was hard. What I'm trying to say is like I got into it and I and I kind of enjoyed it. I I did what I could basically, and then getting back was the hard part though for me. Mm-hmm. That was tough. It was it was really getting acclimated to the getting reacclimated to the campus life mm-hmm. of trying to honestly just figure out where everything is again. I yeah. said, I said, I could have sworn there's a building right there. And they said, no, there wasn't a building. There. I said, I don't know, guys. I think, <laughs> I think you took it while I was gone. <laughs> oh, you're not going to fool me once. And I'm a fool. That's just how it goes. So, uh, Classic yeah, yeah. prank to pull on Cody, moving a giant multi-ton level yeah, building. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I know. They, they, said, they, they said, we're going to take BAME or BOM or BOM and move it over here, bro. It was there. It was right there. I swear. So gullible, man. Yeah, I know. You fall for it every time. I do. I do. I do. But yeah, that's. I mean, there's. Right. I mean, what about you, though? I mean, I agree. Money is always an issue, um, and just the acclimation mm-hmm. to to life from virtual to because like not only was college virtual, but um, you know, the end of high school was also virtual. Yeah. yeah. So you're transferring from high school virtual to college virtual and then in person but still kind of everybody's kind of wary of each other so it's just the the odd acclimation that you had to adjust to yeah. that everybody had to adjust to yeah honestly for me when i eventually swapped majors into going to ctm everything was going well i was getting like all my jet ends done first and then it's like oh, okay, we get to stay home for a bit, okay, like, this is just gonna blow over, yeah, like, everything, we're about to finish it, we have, like, one month left. Yep, gonna bake some bread. Mm-hmm. Gonna... <laughs> what is it, all the, bread all, the, all, the, all, the, all the trends going on? Hey, uh... Hey, spin in your eye. No. I thought he spin in your eye. No. I said, ugh. It's, uh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, um, one thing led to another, and I was doing things virtual for my beginning of CTM. And that was uh, very difficult at first, like it, especially in terms of just like motivation and just like deciding to do things. Cause like you you don't really get as much excitement when you're just looking at a, a small man on a small little window. Mm-hmm. You're in your PJs, your your dad's walking behind you shirtless. Like yeah, yeah. Home. Dad, that was dad right. knock it off. Knock it off, bro. This is my room, man. But, I gotta use bathroom. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah, it was weird that they put the house computer in the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, I, I, I really just wanted my own room, but they sold it off. They, they started renting it after I went to college. You know, there's, there's no. Hey, no. you can't have an omelet without breaking some eggs, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. To make a long story short, it, it was just a hurdle to get through. But I'm just happy I persevered. I finally at Northampton finally got into. Uh, physical classes. I'm hanging out with classmates, building, making friends, which is the most important part. Yeah. And thankfully, a lot of my friends from Northampton kind of carried over to Kutztown. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm roommates with Andrew, and you've met Andrew, and like we knew each other since Northampton, and he's great. Oh shoot! Yeah. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's just like that was probably the biggest hurdle for me, and just getting accustomed to the camera and just everything at Kutztown, which. You know my story of what happened. It's not Kutztown's oh, yes. fault. Yeah. Um, I think I already said in the pilot, but I got into advanced cinematography before regular cinematography. Oh. <laughs> you guys in uh, yeah, our advanced? In yeah, you our advanced cinematography. Yeah, no, we were uh, in the same group. Yeah, exactly. No, I, like, I know that, but wait, what do you mean? You didn't take... I didn't take regular cinematography. I was just catapulted right into advanced yeah. in my first semester here. Easy peasy. I mean, you did well. You hit it very well. We yeah, had yeah. no idea. Yes, yeah. My greatest kept, my greatest kept secret. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ooh, I, you did good. I think I made it pretty far in just understanding things now. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I think the camera's upside down. <laughs> I, I, Sebastian, I don't know about that one. I think it's a little weird. Yeah, it's usually odd, but <laughs> Imagine. whatever. Uh, David Lynch over here, man. I show him the C47 he's using to this, it up. This, yeah. Clearly, you don't understand my vision. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's like a yeah. Dutch angle. Yeah, bro. You, you definitely see in color, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my yeah. Goodness. Hey, hey. Sorry, my bad, bro. <laughs> I just got the impulse. Got the. Ah. Oh, now, <laughs> you two. Is it true you guys went to Connecticut for an internship? That's the one way of saying it. Um, for him, for him, it counted as internship hours. For me, it was just a job. Yeah, Ooh. but it, it, we we went to Connecticut 
because we worked on a feature length film for 24 20, 25 shooting days 25 shooting days i mean we were there for a month and a half mm -hmm. uh doing this project so uh, it was a lot of fun just for like just to build a background um i actually first met cody through an internship at northampton it was a movie production being helmed by darren roebuck daniel roebuck daniel the savior roebuck yeah, yeah, yeah the fugitive matlock Agent Nash Bridges. Nash Bridges. <laughs> that one's for Joey. That one's for Joey. Agent Clay Bangs. Final Agent Clay Desti Jeff. Final Destination. Oh, he's in Final Destination. And oh, gosh. funnily enough, I'm of scared. all things, not pointing at it at all, this is actually awesome. Rob Zombie's The Munsters. Yes, I have to speak yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandpa Munster, the one and only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People oh, talk about God. Lost, but I talk it's, about The Munsters. It's so insane, like when I was... <laughs> watching you that when i was just watching that i was like i met that guy before <laughs> and he's such a fun dude mm -hmm. absolutely yeah, yeah. honestly my biggest regret from that internship is not um taking a picture with them the only picture of us in the same space is like super low res <laughs> so like those are the best ones bit of a bummer but because i just didn't want to be that guy no, i got you i was that guy yeah, you were. <laughs> i was that guy actually i i gave him you know when people you know you know they'd ask danny for an autograph no no, no i gave danny my autograph on it, and he said, Oh, wow, gee, thanks. Here's the trash can. Yeah, Here's the trash can. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah. Yeah, I went into this internship uh, for credit, and I wasn't looking forward to it at first, but like, I really came to love it and just respect it for what it was, and like, I'm happy to be a part of it. And in the middle of like all of us, just kind of they're just minding our business, trying to have fun. We find this one kid named Cody, just a huge ball of energy, <laughs> always smiling, always oh down gosh. to talk to someone, and <laughs> yeah, it, he and nuts. made losing his yeah. mind. I he think that's the, right. He made the days uh, way more manageable, oh. and like every day there was fun. But like you can just you can go through so much like eight hour shifts, and like you get a you get a little tired. <laughs> Not this guy, you just kept going. Mm -hmm. I try, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you talk about those eight-hour shifts, just, you know, you should see him when we were doing 16-hour shifts. 16 oh, my goodness. Shifts, uh, yeah. 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 No, that was that was that was a few years ago. I, I'm I'm tired now. Let's be honest. I'm exhausted. And um, I'm mentioning this backstory now because didn't you use that connection to get the internship? So. Danny Roebuck obviously gave us our starts um, in film. That was that was my first professional feature that I'd ever worked on. Um, the movie, by watch. the way, is called The Hail Mary. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not yet released, but um, but we worked on that together. That was a lot of fun. That actually did that one didn't count as an internship for me. That was just volunteer work. I remember. Um, oh. But no, no, no. It, it was it was a real cool opportunity. And so now, fast forward two years, just just uh, earlier this. This year, Danny Roebuck personally reached out to me and, and basically offered me uh, just an, another PA role, but to PA on uh, another film, but this time not in the Lehigh Valley. Obviously, Danny Roebuck's known for, he's from the Lehigh Valley. He's yeah. known for making a bunch of projects in the Lehigh Valley with people from this area. Um, but this time he said he's going to take the Lehigh Valley to Connecticut. And so he took a few of us uh, there. And we got an opportunity to work on a feature-length film again with him, and it was a lot of fun. Actually, I, I said to him, I, I was like, um, you know, uh, I think it, well, he asked me, uh, do, do you do you, do you know of anyone you, like you'd like to room with and stuff? Do you have a you know a name to throw out? And um, I, I was I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of people. I mean, I I consider Sebastian, I did, but I know I know I I, I feel bad now saying this because I I was like, wait. Why say why say like like someone else when I could just get my girlfriend over here to come up with me? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that I think it's safe to say it's a better priority. Ah, yeah, but it was it made sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's unfortunately, yeah, 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 yeah. you you couldn't come along. I mean, you could have fit in the suitcase, I guess. Um, but no, I brought my girlfriend up, and this was one of her first uh, features. It was my first. Oh, it was feature. your first feature? Baby's yeah, yeah. first feature. Yeah, baby's mm -hmm. first feature. Mm -hmm. first feature. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, she got to be on that. Yeah, um, I mean, it was really cool. Time. Yeah, I got I got a promotion. Yeah. Ooh. Got a promotion. So promotion. we were both hired on as PAs, and, you know, for the first day, they told me, because they knew I 
was in camera and the, the AI was knowledgeable in camera and could work in camera. But they said, well, for the first week, we're going to put you in wardrobe and you're going to help out wardrobe. Oh, I was like, okay. okay, okay, you know, you you made the promise of eventually I'll get into camera. So, you know, I'll do that. I'll have fun doing that. Uh, and I did that for the first day. And then at the end of the first day, somebody from camera, unfortunately, had to go home. So uh -huh. by the second day, I was in camera. And yeah. I stayed there and they promoted my title and for the rest of the film, you know, I was slating. I eventually pulled focus as first AC and I even cam opt. Yeah. Oh, so you had to actually yeah. cam up a dolly shot. Yeah. Um and yeah, what what are you known as? Second AC. A second AC for B cam. Yeah, and then first for C cam. Boom. Yeah. They have so many cams, bro. Yeah. Were you scared at first when they pitched the idea of uh bring of like promoting you or um, I mean, no, I don't think I was scared. Um, I think I was maybe, I was nervous in a sense where it's like, it was the in-between state for me because I was like still known as a PA, mm. but I was in camera. So it's just kind of like, who do I report to here? Mm. But, you know, I was prepared. Um, I mean, Kutsan has pre prepared me very well, professors here as well. And so I knew what I was doing and, you know, I wasn't scared. Yeah, okay. I, I was good. You're really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all, they're all calling her the wonder child. Yeah. As, I know. <laughs> so they're doing amazing yeah. things as Craig. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was definitely nervous pulling focus for the first time because this is like, that's a job where you cannot mess up at all because, you know, time. it's time. Time is, time is, yeah, quite literally money. Yeah. So um, the, the first AC for ACAM actually gave me an amazing opportunity to pull focus. He, he really stepped in and allowed me to do that. You know, he... By stepping in, he would step away and yeah. not be in sight so that they had to just let me do it. And, you know, I started pulling on, like, you know, static shots. And, and it was, you know, those are the easier shots to pull on. But then by the end of it, I was pulling on moving gimbal, moving talent shots. So it was it was really a, a growing moment for me. And it was, it was really amazing. That must have been, like, just so cathartic to go through mm -hmm. especially like knowing that you could be on like a a big set and like you are the one pulling focus and like how old are you right now i'm 21 right now yeah that's like such a jump at that age I know. It's like oh my goodness yeah. like let me just say she did better in me than if like i ever went to that <laughs> thing. I so i think you made a good choice yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, um, does the movie have a name right now? Tuesday's Flu. Tuesday's yeah, Flu. Directed yes. by Danny Roebuck. It's on IMDb. Um, it won't come out for a, a little while, but um, it stars Ross Marquand from uh, The Walking Dead. Um, um, he was also in Endgame as oh, Red yeah. Skull. He's, yeah, he's oh, really? Red Skull. Yeah. yeah, sorry, he's Red Skull. Uh, uh, is that a little movie? Uh, uh, and, you know, Endgame. Avengers Endgame. And got me. And got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. um, and uh, we have John Grise who plays Uncle Rico in Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, hilarious guy. He's really that's royalty. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Jackie Earl Haley who was in Bad News Bears. He played oh, the, uh, the new Kruger. the new Freddy Krueger. Yeah. He was a uh, Warshak and Watchmen. Oh, oh yes, yes, yeah. correct. He was. Yes, he was in Watchmen. Yes, 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 absolutely. And then um, Tony Todd, who's the original, Tony Todd. yeah, original Candyman. Candyman. Candy <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. He said, "Oh, goody, goody, goody." Hey, it's a, re it's a final destination reunion for him and Danny Robot. That's how, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, I, I, oh see, I wasn't God. too familiar with the. I'd never watched this movie. I was scared of Final Destination, mm -hmm. but Did I know you? a lot of them know each other from that movie. Yeah. Did you like? talk to any of the staff of the cast yeah so oh my god i would have crumbled <laughs> Tony Todd. that's that's actually amazing that's a, well it's actually a funny story i i think i was the first like because i think it was the first day yeah first day on set since i was with wardrobe i was one of the first people to meet ross marquand mm -hmm. i was in the the talent holding house and he showed up and, and one of the producers was there and i said I don't, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> and I was like, I don't, I don't know how to greet him. Yeah. Um, but he was super nice, you know, shook my hand and whatever. And, and from then on, he was just nice to the entire crew. He was Aww. such a nice guy. And, and just, you know, him and Cody, like, really hit it off. And they are kind of like a brother relationship Aww. by the end of it. <laughs> No, no, no. He bullied me. He, that's a, say it plain. Say it how it is. He bullied me. This guy, he, he, um, he threw a water bottle on my face. He threw a water bottle on my, my, my voice. I lost my voice because I got so sad, bro. No, he threw it. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he threw a water bottle on my face and then he literally went, oh my, 
Sorry, I meant to throw it at your chest. I'm sorry, man. I said, what's it, that much bed? What? What? What, what is that? What, I, I, no, he, uh, he went up to you and said, you take that smile off your face. Yeah. I get it off your, myself. Uh, he, he, he loved my smile, and that was Aww. the thing. Um, although, man, yeah. I, I really just wanted to... Ah. Want to beat him up, man? Just give him no. the old one too. Yeah, he's not. He's a good guy. They're all really great yeah. people. I mean, the funny yeah. thing about Tony Todd. I, I mean, I, I was bringing him tea. He had a specific tea he wanted, oh. and I know that sounds like such a PA activity, but that's the stuff that I like. I, I enjoy when people you know, like yeah. they need someone to go get something, yeah. and I'll, I'll be the person to do that. I'll make his tea. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I remember bringing it to him. He's ah, oh, thank you. So gracious. I and, know. and I, and I, I say, yeah, like he's sitting down right now. I say, oh yeah, yeah enjoy your tea. And he goes. I am. Uh, You're seven feet tall. <laughs> oh, shoot, bro. Tony Todd's a tall dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is. Oh, he shook my hand and and it was like this. It was it was he grabbed my my my. my he finger, talks to you bro. with like his dultry, like deep voice. I'm like, yeah. thank you, Cody. Yeah, absolutely. He's absolutely. he's gonna be Venom in the new Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Two. No oh way. Gosh. Wow. Shoot. Yeah. Venom. Oh my gosh. Amazing. All the actors were super nice. I mean. John Grise was John Grise. the goofiest man, but he was so nice. Yeah. He was so nice to everybody. Um, he's Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have been the Hail Mary. He should have been. He would have thrown a football yeah. over those mountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he would have won for those kids, man. Oh, oh yeah. my god. It was, it was really cool. It was it was a fun Oh, I bet. Yeah. That's amazing actually. Yeah. Just like Wow, I was not expecting like that star-studded yeah. cast. Mm -hmm. You also, um, Megan, oh, Megan Price? Yeah, Megan, Megan Price. Price. Yeah. Megan Price from R Rules of Engagement. Ooh. She was in the, uh, what's the new Transformers movie? Bumblebee. She was in Bumblebee, I oh, think. Oh, yeah? So she's, she's my, uh, my dad. Is, I remember, I, I, I felt bad. I mean, I, I can't really know everyone, but I, I only vaguely knew who Megan Price was. Um, mm -hmm. And... And uh, of course, you know, I talked to her on set a little bit here and there for her like one or two days that she was actually on set. But um, but then I told my dad later that week, I said, yeah, dad, uh, so we had like, you know, we had like John Grise, we had Ross Marquand, uh, yeah, whatever, Cody, yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah, also uh, we had like Megan Price. Megan Price! Aww. Megan, Megan Price! Did you, you met her? <laughs> I yeah. said, yeah, 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 like, yeah, she was cool. Yeah, yeah, she was cool. He said, <gasps> You don't know who she is. You don't even know, bro. You don't even know yeah. rules of engagement. He kept on going on and on. I said, yo, dad, bro. That I don't know. A lot. I know. I, after, I would Google like them after the fact. I was just curious what they're in. Yeah. And I found out that John Grice was in Supernatural. The show. And that's literally my favorite television show. I have a tattoo yeah. on my arm of an angel blade. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. So <laughs> I found that after a fact. And that was like when he was picture wrapped at that yeah. point. I go. Oh no! Like I couldn't talk. <laughs> but Aww, yeah, no, that, that happened a lot. Yeah, like, we Google them after a few yeah, seconds. Oh, they're they're that's actually big. they're cool. They're oh, I thought we just work with Brad Pitt's brothers. <laughs> 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 I mean, that was like a lot of the stunt people mm. as well. We had stunt yeah. people. It was really cool watching stunts for like the first oh time. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we had some killer stunt uh, guys, stunt women, uh, stunt coordinator Mike. Um, he, they were all great, man. They were doing some amazing stuff. I mean, one of the, on the one, one of the first stunts was. Um, uh, faking a car, hitting like a like like running into a person, hitting them, f having them fly back into a dumpster, and that guy on like the first take, after practicing it numerous times on the first take, boom, he got hurt and had to go to the hospital. Luckily, he's okay. Uh, he went out drinking that. Yeah, night. yeah. He was trying, but <laughs> as he should, still, yeah. as he should. But yeah, no. Um, it was so cool to see stunts. There were people yeah. like rolling down uh, staircases, just everything. It was really, really amazing. Yeah. That's honestly That's insane. Cool. Now, would you say, for Cody, this is more directed at you, would you say that you enjoyed this internship more than the last one? I know the last one was an internship, but you know what I mean. Well, I mean, I've been on a, a few different films since the Hail Mary, and, you know, I'm, I'm also interning at In the Wee Hours, um, which is an amazing place, um, and I, I'm doing so much. Uh, this the thing about Tuesday's flu, and you know, I did have a great time, <clears throat> but it was my first time. Unlike everything else I've been on, I've never been on a feature for the whole time. I was totally, oh, I was yeah. totally full time. I mean, not even Hail Mary. I, I, I think I only did like 13 days uh, on that. Um, it was, it was tough. I'll say it. I, I mean, I, I had a great time. I met so many great people but it was also it was also you know a nightmare it's work. work yeah it was work um it was work we were there to work some days it was eight nah, i can't say 18 16, 18, 16 hours 16 hours there's days um, where it's like call times 8 a.m and we didn't leave set until midnight 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it was some tough yeah. days, but you know, it's worth it. Yeah. It's it's worth it if this is what you want to do for a career, and and that's, you know, uh, to put it like you, that's the price you pay. But, you know, you meet all these great people, you make a family, and it's mm-hmm. it's really worth it in the end. It is honestly just so sad to say goodbye, especially during an internship. Like I I've been there before with the hail mary, and like. Like, you go through it a lot, and, like, sometimes the days can be tiring at points, no matter how fun, much fun you're having. Like, unfortunately, it will be tiring at the end. Like, I get there at, like, 6, and I don't leave until, like, 11. But, like, yeah. I look at it back now, and it's like, I am so happy I met mm-hmm. these wonderful wonderful people. I was happy to meet Daniel Roebuck. I remember I was cleaning um, bottles one time, and he came by. He, he remembered my name. I was, <laughs> I was so shocked at that. It's like, I appreciate everything you're doing here, and, like, Daniel Roebuck's just, like, a super nice guy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, amazing. It, yeah, just, yeah. it was just such a fun family. Everyone makes sure that, like, you're just, like, comfortable. Everyone's, like, super nice. Like, of course, it's still a film set, so, like, yeah. there is yeah. gonna be some days where it's, like, get your ass in the gear but yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. It, it's just been such a fun opportunity something i could say i've been a part of and yeah absolutely mm-hmm. yeah no and we treat it the same way i have every film that you're on you know you really really think of try to appreciate what you got um because i mean well even here's a better way of putting it um I mean, we're we're all of us, you know, we're from this area. We're not living in Hollywood right now, so as much Hollywood as we can get close to home, you should appreciate it. And you know, obviously, make it as good as you can. You know, really, you know, and if if you know, it is tough at times. You know, talk talk to people and stuff. Figure out how you can you know get past it. Because also, a lot of times, I'd be you know maybe like getting like oh, I'd be getting you know a little, a little sad at something or you know just like I, I I'll get tired and then I'll, I'll talk to you know like the grip the gaffer whoever's on set and they'll say oh no no just don't like don't take this to heart or actually here if if you're like struggling with maybe it's just, I'm just struggling with like moving something they'll help me or they'll, mm-hmm. they'll show me so, so everybody's like that. willing yeah. to help absolutely That's, they yeah. do everything in your power just to like absolutely. ease attention just yeah. this is a fun thing you're a part of mm-hmm. let's keep it that way yes yeah. and i appreciate that greatly absolutely yeah it was it was it was goofy being on set i mean we we met a lot of crazy people but we also i mean for me i saw a lot of people that were on the Hail Mary. I mean, the gaffer, like we just mentioned, Sh- uh, Shizzy. He's amazing, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Um, but we call him Shizzy. He's he's an amazing guy, and he's goofy, but so talented. Yeah, so talented. I mean, seeing him work, seeing the DP Dan Herzog, who mm-hmm. he's a, he's my internship boss. Oh, um, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dan Herzog, who was DP on the Hail Mary. Uh, well, I guess technically, I guess his wife is my boss. But anyways. <laughs> um, uh, we seeing him work, seeing everyone work, sound, sound, art. Uh, uh, Everybody on that set amazing. is so talented. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really a great crew. Absolutely, Honestly. yeah. We have amazing. a great family, um, and I mean, Caitlin's added to that. I mean, we... We've we got we grew because the Tuesdays flew and hopefully for the next one will be even larger but will be even more organized. But at the end of the day, at the end of the production, I think we can all say like we we were able to say that we were part of an amazing production, amazing team. Mm-hmm. Um, and I learned a lot from being within the f- field of production. And hopefully, I'll continue to grow just like as Caitlin, mm-hmm. sure you know she'll continue to grow. Um, because. That's what we want. We want. We want to move on and stuff. We want to. We want to keep uh, growing in mm-hmm. film, and that's what we're gonna do. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. It was. It was fun. Nicely said. That's yeah. absolutely wonderful. Um, so, do you guys have any hopes in like the future of just like where you are now? Like, yeah. what what do you plan to do like later on, like after Kutztown? Yeah, I wanna. I wanna go. Uh, I wanna. I wanna... I want to go to New Mexico. <laughs> I want to go to I'm New Mexico. You're really trying to find something. I was trying to. I was, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cook up beans and stuff. You don't know how, how to cook. cook green beans, maybe. You don't know how to. Well, cook. I like green beans, so I think I'm gonna have a green bean farm. Um, zucchini, <laughs> zucchini. I like that. I'm ditching film. I'm out. I don't need it. It I wasn't need for it. me. No, it wasn't. I honestly, <laughs> what I learned throughout this podcast. I hate movies, bro. Oh, trust me, I'm there with you. That's even the point of this. I just flip. <laughs> I don't like this. What is this, Mike? Uh, it's not even. It's not even on. It doesn't work. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> don't stress him out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm excited for what's next. I'm graduating. 
um, very shortly from Kutztown University. I got that major in cinema, television, media production, and I have a minor in business. I want to be a producer, like I said at the top of the show. I want to produce things. I want to produce for other people, and I want to produce for myself. Uh, for self, for myself. Um, I and I've also already been given some opportunities that are coming up to AD films, and that's that's the best thing is that you know from people we've met on the last few shoots they're actually giving us those stepping stones like jared did like the first ac yeah. on yeah. on tuesday's flu like like my boss my bosses at in the wee hours they're giving me stepping stones people need to provide stepping stones and you know it's not always there but at some some points in life you need to also find those people who are willing to provide you with the with the you know a chance to prove yourself and that's what i'm getting i'm going to be able to ad films just like i'm going to be able to produce some coming soon and so that's i'm i'm very hopeful and i'm i'm you know excited to see what happens in my career and we'll see maybe the Cody network will finally hit a thousand subscribers but whew, oh my goodness Gotta take this moment. Subscribe to the Cody Network. There's a link right here for right now. Absolutely, yeah. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, it's a it's a great channel. It's very high quality. Um, Caitlin, uh, do you have any ambitions for the future? It, it's fine if like they're tame or anything. Like my ambitions are pretty yeah. tame right now. I got you. I still have to help with the green beans. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> So I'm still a junior, so I, you know, I have a whole nother year left, but within that year I hope to, you know, work on many more films and just keep growing as, you know, a, a camera operator, DP, whatever that may be, um, and really just get a good internship and, and, you know, from there blossom even further and just be able to do this for a living. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Who knows? Maybe we'll, we're going to make a production company together. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Clam. It's still, gonna, it's still gonna be called the Cody Network. <laughs> no, the Cody Network featuring Caitlin Todd. Mm -hmm. You'll get it. Yeah. No, now, we're both we're very excited for our futures. This today. has been an absolute amazing episode of the podcast. Now, before I wrap <laughs> up, do you we already we've been plugging nonstop, but for the specific plugging section, would you like to plug anything? Yeah, I, once again, uh Check out some of my own work as well as Caitlin's work on youtube.com slash the Cody Network. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and then same thing with KU Spotlight. Uh, KU Spotlight's all over Instagram and we have our own YouTube channel. We've just released two films this year. Uh, I guess, sorry, last year and this year, within the past school year. Uh, the Study Group Suspects, it's a Spotlight Murder Mystery. And then just recently, The Golden Zone, which is a KU-centered parody of the Twilight Zone, which is really cool. We're hoping to make that a series, so you can find all that on on YouTube or even Instagram. Um, so yeah, check out the Cody Network and KU Spotlight, or don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just follow me on Instagram. It's Caitlin E Todd, K A I T L Y N E T O D D. Yeah, that's all I got. Woo -woo. Radical. Absolutely, for the best, man. We're gonna be making some more films, hopefully this summer, and so stay tuned. I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Sebastian's gonna be uh, uh, fundraising, so he's gonna be getting us the money. You know the people, right? You're getting us money. I guess I do. He's got it. He's got it. He's, you know, he I got it. It's like I the mob. I gotta sell all the equipment. Face. I'm sorry, man. It's a, well, you gotta sell all the hats. Yeah. This, this isn't even like 20%. <laughs> you see nothing. This oh my is, god. This is insane. This is insane. Oh my god. Well, anyway, once again, uh, I'm Sebastian Booba. This has been uh, amazing, another amazing episode of the Coast Town podcast for everyone watching at home. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and <laughs> have a fantastic night. Good night, later, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh. <sighs> Thank you for tuning in to the Kutztown Podcast. Please consider subscribing or watching another video. And with that being said, have a great night.